When my girlfriend and I heard that TikTok might be shutting down, we immediately thought, you know, those poor TikTokers, they're not gonna have anywhere to do whatever it is that they do. Sure enough, just a couple days later, my girlfriend's coming home from work and she sees this guy and he's just doing these nonsensical dances and faces. And she calls me and she says, you know, I think there might be a stray TikToker running around our neighborhood. He looks very lost. You know, to be honest, I wasn't sure we would have what it takes to take in a TikToker. You know, we had fostered a couple of Viners back in the day, but I don't know what is going on on TikTok. But it didn't take him long to come out of his shell. When the camera is on him, he lights up. He does all these weird dances and these facial expressions that I don't quite understand. He keeps rubbing his hands together and touching his chin we don't really know what that's about he does have a bad habit of biting his bottom lip a lot and we're just hoping he doesn't need stitches for that no biting, no biting. it just broke our hearts to see the state he was left in you know because he's clearly starving you know, for attention. He likes to do this thing where he lip syncs over things he didn't create, as if that was anything, you know, as if that was a talent to be proud of. We're just, we're just really happy that he's found a home with us. You know, it's nice to know that he's safe here until he, you know, probably downloads Instagram or, I don't know, matures a little bit. Oh god, he bit his lip too hard, damn it.